until something wonderful happened in our father era in late 1970s there are many faces like leonard suskin gabriel venaziano and later on brian green edward witten one of the pillars of modern physics comes up with another groundbreaking theory that is superstring theory and the surprising thing is that this theory didn't tell us about those extra dimensions at the first sight of this theory and rather it is the mathematics that can lead our mind to that notion well what is the string theory what did it tell us about our universe string theory is a theory that can comes up with the elementary particles notion well if i take a more familiar object that is a candle if i go inside of a candle i can found that it made of atoms we know that atoms are not end of the story we can found that the electrons are orbiting around nucleus nucleus are also divisible in neutrons and protons they are also divisible in quarks of quarks and down quarks and here is our conventional idea got stuck at the basic level of fundamental particles there are quarks and electrons and now here is the new approach comes inside of those particles quarks and electrons there is something something like vibrating strands of energy or filaments that can vibrates in a unique manner to produce an unique particle just like the string of a cello can vibrate in a unique manner to produce a unique or musical notes unique musical notes at the same way those strings are vibrates in a unique manner to produce a unique particle a different type of vibration causes quarks a unique type of vibration causes electrons and so forth and here you can see the unification all matter particles electrons quarks neutrinos radiation particles like gravitons photons bosons all are put together in an one overarching framework that is called super string theory now here's the catch when we study the equations of string theory the physicist found that the theory didn't work in a universe that has only have three dimensions of space it didn't work in a universe that have four dimensions of space not five not six not seven and finally physicist found that the theory only works in the universe that has 10 dimensions of space and one dimensions of time that leads back our mind to that notion previous ancient knowledge that is given by clouds and klein that maybe those extra dimensions are available in such curled up dimensions curled up spatial regions if you will well what's the significance of that theory that 10 dimensions of space well uh, not one dimensions of space there are maybe 10 dimensions of space in a tiny spatial regions in a intertwined geometry that evenly called you know calabiao shape name isn't that important so what string theory tells us about nature does those you know extra dimensions are just setting up there for no reasons or those tells us some stories about our universe so there is a basic fundamental question in our fundamental physics is that we have 20 numbers in our realm that are finely tuned so finely tuned that no other theory can tell us or can give some insights why do those 20 numbers have their own spatial values well does string theory does not yet but we believe that it can be because as you can see that our universe might have those extra dimensions extra dimensions like curled up dimensions and uh, there is more or like seven curled up dimensions in so small tiny space in a spatial region called calabiao space in a intertwined geometry name isn't that important so we can find that the extra dimensions might comes with that curled up dimensions called calabiao shape and the calabiao shape consists of seven different shapes of those extra dimensions that simply we don't know the shapes of those individual extra dimensions and that is a problem because shapes makes everything for strings that can vibrates in a unique manner in unique shapes and vibration defines everything in string theory masses of particles and something like that 
and the 20 numbers consist of electron mass mass of proton uh, you know and the force of gravity and the strength of electromagnetism and so forth and all we have is that the list of candidate shapes that can allowed by mathematics of string theory and the list is too large that is hard to manageable because this list comes up with 10 to the power 500 candidate shapes and we cannot you know test each of them separately to predict whether this idea about those extra dimension shapes are right or wrong so if we have somehow measured those extra dimensions we can measure those 20 numbers and then can predict more accurately why those numbers have their spatial values so you might ask finally that well this theory is beautiful mathematics is elegant everything is okay but does we somehow perform an experiment in laboratory to predict whether this string theory right or wrong or we simply cannot so here is a possibility by which we can examine string theory let me you know explain what it claims it claims that if we slam two protons in an enormous energy it can produce some energy to go through in an extra dimensions how can we measure them well we can measure the total energy before the collision and the after the collision and the less energy in college after collision can directly prove that the extra dimensions are real and if that dri drifted energy can found in a drifted way in the same way that can predicts by string theory that will be the great proof for string theory to be proven it right, right theory and the extra dimensions are real and so forth so that's it for today guys bye bye